Hello, teacher. I've been wanting to talk to you about something interesting. Hi, Tony. That sounds exciting. What's on your mind? Well, I really love listening to music, especially English songs. I was wondering, is it possible to learn English through songs? Absolutely, Tony. Music is a fantastic way to learn English. Songs can help you with vocabulary, pronunciation, and even listening skills. That sounds perfect for me. I'd love to learn English while listening to my favorite songs. Do you think it can really help me? Definitely. Songs are memorable. So it's easier to remember words and phrases. Plus, it's fun. You won't feel like you're studying. So where should I start? Are there specific songs I should listen to? Good question. It's best to start with slower songs that have clear lyrics. Songs with clear pronunciation make it easier for you to understand and follow along. Okay, that makes sense. What about the genre? Do you think pop songs are good for learning English? Yes, pop songs can be great because they often use everyday language. But some genres like hip hop might be challenging because of the fast pace and slang. Got it. I'll start with pop songs and slower ones. Are there any specific songs you recommend for beginners? Yes, try songs like "Imagine" by John Lennon or "Yesterday" by the Beatles. They have clear lyrics and are slow enough for you to understand. What should I do if I don't understand a word in a song? First, try to guess the meaning from the context. If that doesn't work, You can look up the word in a dictionary, or use an app for translations. I see. Should I write down the words I learn? Absolutely. Keep a small notebook where you jot down new words and phrases. That way, you can review them later. That's a great idea. Sometimes I see lyrics with slang or informal words. Should I learn those too? Yes, but be cautious. Slang is good for understanding casual conversations, but remember, it's not always appropriate in formal settings. I often sing along with the lyrics, but sometimes I'm not sure if my pronunciation is correct. How can I improve? Singing along is a great start. To improve. Try to mimic the singer's pronunciation closely. You can even slow down the song using apps to practice each word. That's helpful. Are there apps that show the lyrics while I listen? Yes, many music apps display lyrics. Some even have karaoke features where you can follow the words as they play. This is excellent for shadowing practice. I'll definitely try that. Is it okay if my pronunciation isn't perfect? Of course. Remember, practice makes progress. With time, your pronunciation will get better. Just keep trying. I noticed some song lyrics have phrases that sound different from what we learn in class. Why is that? Good observation. Songs often use informal language and creative expressions. They don't always follow strict grammar rules like in textbooks. So should I use those phrases in my speaking? You can, but be careful. Some phrases are fine in casual conversations, but may not be appropriate in formal situations. Can you give me an example? Sure. Take the phrase "ain't," which you might hear in songs. It's very informal and not standard English, so use it with friends, but avoid it in formal writing.
I feel a bit shy about singing along, especially if I make mistakes. Is that normal? Yes, it's completely normal. Start by singing when you're alone, maybe at home or in the car. Once you're comfortable, you'll feel more confident. That's a good idea. Singing alone could help me focus on pronunciation without worrying about mistakes. Exactly. And don't worry about perfection. Even native speakers make mistakes. The goal is to practice and improve over time. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, teacher. I'm excited to start. How can I stay motivated to practice regularly? One way is to create a playlist of your favorite English songs. Make it part of your daily routine, like listening on your way to school or before bed. That sounds fun. I can add new songs as I learn more. Exact. Try to add one or two new songs each week. This keeps it interesting and helps you learn a variety of words and expressions. I'll do that. Having a playlist will make it feel less like studying. And that's the beauty of it. You're learning without it feeling like hard work. How will I know if I'm really improving? A great way to track progress is by reviewing your song list and vocabulary notebook regularly. See if you remember the words and can sing along without looking at the lyrics. I like that idea. I'll start with easy songs and work my way up. Perfect. Also, keep an ear out for words you've learned when you hear other songs. It's a fun way to measure your progress. Thank you, teacher. I'm excited to try all these tips. Learning English through songs sounds like a great journey. You're welcome, Tony. Enjoy the process and remember that consistency is key. Keep listening, singing, and having fun with it. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving us the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thank you again for watching. Happy learning!